<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Taylor the Fiend recently covered an article, and Manosphere Highlights Daily just recently covered a TV show or a web show, whatever it is, called You. Now, both of these coverages were about the topic of female infidelity. The show that Manosphere Highlights Daily covered was more of a girlfriend, as opposed to this article that Taylor the Fiend covered, and I'm going to give my opinion on, where it was talking about wives. Yeah, wives. Now, let me go ahead and lay the foundation to this. Gentlemen, especially husbands, I want you to really take this phrase that I'm about to say to heart. Are you ready? Her decisions and her actions are never your fault. Let me say that one more again. Her decisions and her actions are never your fault, especially when it comes to cheating. Now, a couple of years ago, I made a long form video where I completely broke it down. My journey through therapy to my ultimate understanding by way of a female therapist who actually told me that phrase. I'm going to link that video in the description box. Gentlemen, please share these videos with any guy in a long-term relationship and especially another married man. It is absolutely crucial that these guys Get this information. Now, this article was published on the 29th of September. Five reasons your wife is cheating on you. In reality, there's only one reason. And I'm going to give you that reason after I finish covering this absolutely despicable article. Susan Shapiro Barash knows affairs. Notice, when it comes to women, it's always an affair to try to clean it up. But when it comes to us men, it's always cheating. That way they can demean our character. For over 30 years, the reporter has been compiling research about what makes women cheat. The result is a revised edition of her book, quote unquote, A Passion for More. Affairs That Make or Break Us, which was published in 1993. Quote unquote, even 30 years ago, I'd find that there was a striking absence of guilt and a sense of entitlement about affairs, Barash told the Post. But today, it's even more pronounced. Now, let's go back to a certain news article that was actually a report that came out that said at least... 50% of married women admitted that they had a back burner guy. And yet and still, they're trying to make a Scooby-Doo 
state mystery as to why men no longer want to get married. And with the interviewees in the past few years, what I'm really hearing is that while women might feel slightly upset for their husband, they feel very confident about their decision, keyword, decision to start an affair. The newly updated survey found that, get this gentlemen, hold on to your butts. 70% of women will cheat in some fashion over the course of a marriage. Now, mind you, recently it has come out that women are cheating more than men. And yet, this society has so much smoke for the passport brothers. Now they go into five absolute jokes of excuses. And I'm gonna read a little bit of them and then I'm just gonna go completely off the rails. Number one, for women, it's about emotional discovery. While a man might be pulled toward an affair sparking from physical attraction, Barash believes that the catalyst of a woman's filing begins when she's searching for something within herself that she can't find from her primary partner. Wow, what a bunch of absolute garbage. Number two, an affair isn't necessarily a precursor to a divorce. Barash's research found that 52% of women will stay in a marriage after an affair. And an affair is often used as a bargaining chip to demand change. Oh. <laughs> this is absolutely disgusting, yet it is gold. Quote, unquote, they'll look at their husband and say, quote, unquote, I've been having an affair because I'm unhappy. I love you and I want to stay with you, but you need to understand. Understand what? I no longer respect you. That's all you need to hear. Number three. An emotional affair can be just as quote unquote real as a physical one. According to Barash, women are more likely to dive in the depths of an emotional affair. An emotional affair may not be physically consummated, but the intimacy can be breathtaking. Man, I tell you, more and more men in the future, will not be getting married. Mm -mm, mm -mm. As long as women have access to two things, more and more men are going to say, nope. And I'm going to tell you what those two things are when I'm done with this. Number four, open marriage acceptance has not decreased the desires of an affair. Wow. Even if you open up the marriage and actually give her permission to get piped down by other men, which is something that a cuck would do, she still wants to have that secret affair. Why? Because that is considered dirty and it puts her into an emotional state. Despite open marriages, becoming less taboo than they were in the past. Barash says the majority of women she interviewed kept their marriages closed and their affairs secret, i.e. an emotional roller coaster. Number five, 
The way Americans have affairs is unique. America, our societal messaging and how we cling to it is the idea that the wedding is the fairy tale and the marriage is the key to happiness, i.e. Disney princess complex. Now, those are the five reasons, or should I say the five absolute BS excuses put forward in this article. Quote, unquote, as women have more options, more money, and more autonomy, I think we're able to say, you know what? This is for me. Women are really able to justify the lack of remorse and how much they finally count in in the decision to have an affair. They want more. Okay. All right. This is absolutely disgusting. It is disgusting. Yet, yet, there is no argument to get rid of no-fault divorce. No. Now, I'm willing to go with a happy medium when it comes to this. Okay, ladies, you can keep no-fault divorce. However, once it's been found out that you've been unfaithful, you lose the cash and prizes. Ironic, isn't it? No-fault divorce, no one's fault that the marriage is failing. Yet, it is still men that have to pay. So, gentlemen, no matter what, even though they say it's no-fault divorce, no, 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 no. That is mental manipulation for it's still your fault as the man. Now, what is the reason why wives are cheating on their husbands? Because they want to. End of. That is the only reason why. Period. Point. Blank. No one forces a woman to lay down and spread her legs for another man. She does it because she wants to. However, it is absolutely crucial that men are gaslit to believe that it's some sort of deficiency with us. And you have other men who co-signed it. Well, you know, you weren't hitting it right. And, you know, if you wasn't doing this, doing that, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. All that to negate her accountability, period. Now, what are the two things that if we can get under control and get rid of, a lot of women would actually fall back in line? First, the court of public opinion. Now, that's going to be damn near impossible to get rid of, especially with social media. The second, the gun of the state. This is why so many husbands are put into that trick bag. They know they're too afraid to cut that damn cord. They're too afraid at minimum to walk out that damn door. However, However, like this article says, women are making more money. They want to be more autonomous. Guess what? If you are a husband and you find your wife has been cheating on you and you have done no dirt, that's important. That's quite important. If you've been the good, dutiful husband who has not stepped out in secret, then this definitely applies to you. If she's making enough money, you pack your stuff, you walk out that damn door. End of. Whatever the cost, be prepared to pay it because your freedom, your mental health, your physical health is far more important. Damn what the court of public opinion say. And be ready for everybody to turn on you in order to protect her. Yeah. It's a damn shame that even though the woman who swore fealty to you through vows has decided to break the contract, 
She's going to be rewarded and you're going to be made the bad guy regardless. Gentlemen, accept that. That's what I did when it came to me in the meat sack. I said, you know what? Cool. I'm the bad guy regardless. Doesn't matter. However, in my specific situation, we both were doing dirt. However, when it comes to us men, and it, when it comes to women, this is where it becomes more dangerous. As men, we usually do not try to replace the wife. However, when it comes to wives, they literally are planning to try to replace you as the husband. Mm -hmm. And that's why wives who cheat are more dangerous and more damaging than men especially if the guy, the second guy really wants it, he might actually try to terminate you. Gentlemen, no, 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 no. You find out that your significant other is cheating, walk out that damn door. Period, point blank, end of discussion. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the full article. Watch my previous video. And ladies, understand this and understand this very well. The power, the social power, the court of public opinion, all the things that society puts forward to gaslight men into believing that it's their fault when you cheat will go out. Feminism, sexual liberation, that will go out right along with it. And as I close this out, here's a warning. It is the blue-pilled normie man who finds this out about you who will put on the mask. It's not us red pill guys. We understand and we voted with our feet. Period. Point. Blank. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am.